shorts. Last time we tried this, it didn't work out so well. But it's been a while, so I figured we'd take another crack at it. Are we at least gonna get a chance to find magic items this time? Nope. Great. This is gonna be a blast. You start with them. Ooh, ooh, what do we get? What do we get? What do Your story begins in a magic item shop called the Arcane Armory. Roll percentile to see what items you get. 43. 78. <sighs> 22. Waylon, your barbarian gets a berserker axe. I just texted you the stats. Oh, it's on. You're gonna need it. Sarah, your cleric gets a deck of many things. This could be good. Or, this could be a nightmare. It definitely might be. And Lance, your warlock gets a portable hole. A portable hole? What am I gonna do with a portable hole besides make bad jokes? Dude, that's the best part of D&D. If you ask me, you got the holy grail. <sighs> do I have anything that'll let me roll again? As the shopkeep hands each of you your items, the front door to the shop bursts open and in runs a bloodied gnome. He's screaming and holding his abdomen. Do any of you speak Nim? Ooh! I do. Sarah? Not unless one of these cards lets me. Must be nice to have something good. Yeah, it is. Waylon, I assume your dragonborn barbarian doesn't speak Nim. No, but uh, I have an eight intelligence, so probably couldn't understand him if he was speaking common. Sarah, you and Waylon don't understand anything. Lance, the dialect is slightly different than what you're used to, but you do pick up on something about rabbits and dead children. Holy crap. <laughs> I get it, yeah, it is fun. The injured gnome coughs up a heap of blood and falls. As his body collapses, his arms move away from his abdomen and his innards spill out onto the shop floor. Wow. Well, it's a shame we couldn't get the uh, whole story. Doing a great job, man. I cast Revivify and tell the shopkeeper to get some water. I'm gonna secure the door. Waylon, as you reach the door, you hear a series of violent screams. Upon peeking outside, you see a large horde of what look like mechanical rabbits charging toward the shop. How many are there? At least a hundred. I close the door and hold it shut. Guys, I think we have a problem. Sarah, the disemboweled gnome coughs up more blood. He's alive, but barely. The shopkeep returns with water. I give him the water and ask what happened. Does he speak common? He does. The gnome explains that the village was holding its annual Easter egg hunt when they were attacked by metal rabbit monsters. Metal rabbit monsters. The shopkeep speaks behind you. This is all Reginald Clunkerjack's fault. Who's that? Waylon, give me a strength check to hold the door. 13. You're able to hold it for now, but not much longer. These things are relentless. I got a 17 on my Arcana check. Can I look out the window and see if I know what these things are? They look like rabbits, but they act and move like small, crude versions of Gnarl Jacks. Hmm. Interesting. Who is Reginald Clunkerjack? The gnome beneath Lance explains that Reginald Clunkerjack is an old gnome wizard who was cast out from the village for his dangerous magic experiments. Oh, that makes sense. Lance, give me a deck save. 16. Fortunately, you're able to get out of the way of the front window before it's bashed to bits by the bloodlusting bunny bots. Each of you can take one action before they take over the shop. It's Leroy Jenkins time. I frenzy immediately and start swinging. Oh, yeah. How many attacks are you going to get? Um, hmm. Just roll it out and let me know how it goes. Sarah? Might as well start this nonsense. I'll be drawing five cards starting with Knight. A fourth level fighter appears in front of you. He is yours to command. Oh, nice. Lance, is there anything you'd like to do? Well, I was thinking about using the portable hole, but I think I'm just going to cast Shatter. Okay, I've done uh, like 158 damage so far. I'm like halfway done. All right, well, I don't feel like rolling all those saves. So let's just say between Sarah's Knight, Waylon's Axe, and Lance's Shatter, all of the constructs are dead. Heck yeah. Unfortunately, you were unable to save the dying gnome, but the shopkeeper tells you where you can find Clunkerjack. Let's go. After a short walk through the corpse-filled village, you find Reginald's secluded cabin in the woods. I'm gonna draw another card before we go in. Gem. 50,000 gold worth of gems appear at your feet. Great, so not helpful at all. Yeah, we need that like we need a hole in the head. <laughs> hole. The front door to the cabin opens and out steps a wrinkly old gnome with a brown sack. Who are you? We're your worst nightmare. Pal. Clunkerjack smiles and says, You'll never get me. 
He turns the sack upside down and releases scores of sack rabbits, which is what he calls them. Each of you can take one action before we roll initiative. It's frenzy time. We'll get to your attacks in a minute. Sarah? I drew fool. I can't lose 10,000 XP, but I have to draw again. Can't wait for that. Lance? I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed... Wait a second. Hold on. Does Clunkerjack have a bag of holding? He does indeed. The void. I'm trapped in an object. What object? I'll tell you in a second. Lance? I throw the portable hole inside the bag of holding. Awesome. Waylon, give me a wisdom save. Twelve. Sarah disappears. I should have known. Waylon, you're berserk, meaning that you're unable to do anything but attack. Uh oh. So when Lance throws his portable hole into the bag of holding, Reginald Clunkerjack, all of the sack rabbits, and Waylon disappear through a gate to the astral plane. Whoa. Where's Sarah? She was in the portable hole. I should have known. So. I'm the hero? I did it! Hole in one! See you next year. D and D swag, 20 D twenties in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Wouldn't want it in them when I'm in to the max for the win. D and D swag, 20 twenties in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Let the betting begin when I'm in to the max. Y'all can find me at the table ready and able to role play. OP, I'ma be power gaming the whole way. Apex predator patrolling for prey. Components and material. I just read what the scroll say. Olay, fast track to the boss lair. How many people I gotta be telling I got them up in my crosshairs?